starters and coaches. Number 10, Justin Pena. Number 19, Cole Hamels. Number 25, Brandon Burke. Number 31, Kevin Campbell. Number 32, Tristan Gale. Number 35, Chris Lavis. Number 27, Brett Lysander. The assistant coach is Mark Furtak. Shell Scott. And Brian Coyman. And now, here's the starting lineup for the Rancho Bernardo Broncos. Leading off, center fielder number 18, Danny Putnam. Putnam, the center fielder. Batting second at second base, number 29, Chris Jensen. Jensen at second base. Batting third at shortstop, number 9, Jake Blaylock. Blaylock, the shortstop. Batting fourth, the catcher, number 22, Jeff Spites. Spites, the catcher. Batting fifth at first base, number 14, Casey Gallagher. Gallagher at first base. Batting sixth in right field, number 34, John Peabody. Peabody in right field. Batting seventh in left field, number 24, Dorian Dixon. Dixon in left field. Batting eighth. Designated hitter number 15, Bobby just Bobby Giles. Giles the DH. And batting ninth, the third baseman number two, David Moorhead. Moorhead, the third baseman. On the mound pitching for the Broncos is number 21, Justin Dowdy. Head coach of the Broncos is Sam Blaylock. And now, let's welcome the Titans of Poway High School. Number three, Dan Kelly. Number eight, Stuart Pollock. Number nine, Tyler Wagner. Number 12, Shandy Kaufman. Number 17, Brandon Trumbo. Number 19, Eric Spooner. Number 20, Mark Draper. Number 22, Steve Conradi. Number 23, Bobby Shear. The assistant coaches, John Vallis. Bob Ludekin and Josh Ham. And now, here are the starters for the Titans of Poway High School. Batting first, in right field, number two, Ryan King. King, the right fielder. Batting second, at shortstop, number five, Nick Purcell. Purcell, the shortstop. Batting third, at third base, number 11, Tyler Whiteman. Whiteman, the third baseman. Batting fourth, the pitcher, number 35, Will Miller. Miller, the pitcher. Batting fifth, in center field, number 10, Scott McFarland. McFarland, the center fielder. Batting sixth, at first base, number 27, Scott Lonergan. Lonergan, the first baseman. Batting seventh in left field, number six, Chris Herper. Herper, the left fielder. Batting eighth, the catcher, number 21, Caleb Allen. Allen, the catcher. And batting ninth at second base, number one, Nate Polakoff. Polakoff, the second baseman. Head coach of the Titans is Bob Perry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to honor America, please stand for the playing of our national anthem.
<laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this evening's Division I CIF Championship Baseball team between the Broncos of Rancho Bernardo High School and the Titans of Poway High. This game coming to you tonight from Tony Gwynn Stadium. Beautiful setting here on the campus of San Diego State University. I'm Jeff Scott, and you're watching a George Langevin video production. Tonight's game, an all-North County affair between a couple of teams from the same school district. Poway and Rancho Bernardo, a couple of Palomar League team opponents, facing each other in tonight's CIF Division I Championship. And shortstop, Nick Purcell. Defensively for the home team Titans at first base, number 27, Scott Lonergan. At second base for the Titans, number one, Nate Polikoff. The shortstop for the Poway Titans tonight, number five, Nick Purcell. And at third base, number 11, Tyler Reitman. In left field for the Titans tonight, number six, Chris Kerper. The center fielder, number 10, Scott McFarlane. And in right field, number two, Ryan King. On the mound for the Titans this evening, the pitcher, number 35, Will Miller. And behind the plate tonight, the catcher, number 21, Caleb Allen. Now leading off in the top of the first for the Rancho Bernardo Broncos. The center fielder, number 18, Danny Putnam. Danny Putnam has had a dream season for the Broncos this season. He leads the county with 19 home runs and 48 RBI. First pitch for Miller, low, ball one. Putnam set a new CIF San Diego section record for home runs in a season with 19. Looking to add to that title tonight. That pitch bounced way in front of the plate, up and over the catcher's head. And a count 2-0. and oh. Miller coming in tonight, 5-2 record with a 2.43 ERA. The 2-0 pitch to Putnam. Hit deep to center field. McFarland back, not quite at the warning track, and makes the catch. Next up for the Broncos, the second baseman, number 29, Chris Jensen. Jen Jensen comes in with a 374 batting average, 10 homers, 39 RBI on the year. And he takes a strike from Miller. Jensen, a six foot one senior, bats left, throws right. The 0 1 pitch popped up foul. Up and over the Bronco dugout. And the count 0 and 2 to Jensen. These two teams have met twice in the season so far. Actually, four times in the season this far. Twice in the league, twice in tournament play. Rancho Bernardo winning all four games. The Titans trying to break that string. There's a ball from Miller, and the count goes 1 and 2. Strike three swinging. Miller blowing it by Jensen. And the next batter for the Broncos, the shortstop number nine, Jake Blaylock. Blaylock, the son of head coach Sam Blaylock, longtime San Diego High School baseball coach. Blaylock takes ball one. The assistant coaches for the Broncos, Mark Furtak, Shell Scott, and Brian Coyman. The Broncos won the Palomar League with a three and two league record. Overall, they are 27 and five. They come into these playoffs ranked number one in the county. And a strike from Miller, the count even one and one. Two 
two out here in the first. Blaylock facing Miller. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Outside, 2-1. Blaylock, a 6'4 junior. Play shortstop. Up there, right handed. To face Miller. He hits on the ground to third base. Up with it. Over to first. And that's the end of the top half of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. At the end of one half, Rancho Bernardo, zero. Poway coming up. Center fielder, Danny Putnam. Defensively for the Broncos tonight, they'll start out with Casey Gallagher, number 14, at first base. At second base for the Broncos, number 29, Chris Jensen. Jake Blaylock, number nine, is the shortstop. And the third baseman, number two, David Moorhead. In left field for the Broncos, number 24, Dorian Dixon. In center, number 18, Danny Putnam. And in right field, number 34, John Peabody. On the mound tonight, starting for the Broncos, number 21, Justin Doughty. And behind the plate, number 21, the catcher, Jeff Spites. Leading off now for the Titans, in the bottom of the first inning, number two, the right fielder, Ryan King. King comes into tonight's game with a batting average of an even 300. He leads the team in walks with 20, stolen bases with nine. He's got four home runs and 22 RBI on the year. The first pitch, a ball. The second pitch, ball two from Dowdy. Dowdy comes in tonight with a record of 12 and 0 on the year, an ERA, a minuscule 0 0.93. The pitch from Dowdy hit over the pitcher's head, shortstop on the grass, makes the play, and one out. Nice play by Blaylock, the shortstop. Number five, shortstop Nick Purcell. Now batting for the Titans, number five, the shortstop Nick Purcell. Purcell hitting 299. He's second on the team in walks and stolen bases behind only Ryan King. And he takes a strike. One out. Here in the bottom of the first inning, no score. Poway and Rancho Bernardo in the CIF Division I Baseball Championship. Here from beautiful Tony Gwynn Stadium at San Diego State University. The 0-2 pitch from Dowdy. Low, one and two. I'm Jeff Scott, you're watching a George Langevin video production. The one-two pitch from Dowdy, swung on and missed, strike three. And there are two out 11, here in the bottom of the first. Yeah, Whitey! Go white Now batting for the Titans, number 11, the third baseman, Tyler Whiteman. Whiteman. Leading the team with a 362 batting average, three home runs, and 25 RBI on the year. Ball one to Whiteman. Whiteman, a 6'3 junior. Up there, right handed, facing Dowdy for the first time. Takes a strike, one and one. Whiteman waits, the pitch, yeah. hit to left field, left center. Yeah, center fielder over, cuts that off, Putnam gets it back in, 
and Whiteman with the first hit of tonight's game. Base hit to the left center. Batting in the cleanup spot, Will Miller, number 35, the pitcher. Will Miller hitting 287 on the year. Four home runs, 21 RBI. He's tied with Ryan King for the team lead in home runs. Miller with an open stance. Dowdy's pitch, a strike. Let's go, Will! There's no DH in the lineup for tonight for the Titans. All nine field players are batting. Miller waits. And the throw to first. Go Will! Dowdy with a good move. Keeping Whiteman. Close at first. Whiteman's got a good lead. Dowdy to the plate. Low. One and one. Two out here on the bottom of the first. A runner at first. Tyler Whiteman with a single. And the pitcher, Will Miller, waiting at the plate. Dowdy over to first again, keeping Whiteman close. There's a strike from Dowdy, one and two. Whiteman not a big threat to run. He's only stolen two bases, been caught once. The one-two pitch from Dowdy. There's strike three call. The catcher dropped the third strike, but picked it up, made the tag, and that's the end of the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left at the end of one full inning. No score. Leading off the second for the Broncos, the catcher number 21, Jeff Spites. Number 22, Jeff Spites. He comes in batting 339 with 10 home runs, 36 RBI. The first pitch from Miller taking ball one. Second pitch up high, a ball two. Mentioned the Broncos come in tonight's game ranked number one in the county and the number one seed in these playoffs. Spites swings and miss, two and one. The Broncos are the two-time defending Division I CIF champion. They beat Vista last year, one to nothing in the final. In 1999, they defeated Helix eight to two. Their only other appearance in 1995, they lost to Mount Carmel, 11 to nothing. Ball three, three and one to Spites. Miller looking in the 3 1 pitch. Fouled straight back against the netting. The count goes full, three and two. Spites, a six foot four senior, behind the plate for the Broncos. The 3 2 pitch hit foul down the line. Spites out in front of that. Sounded like he hit it off his fist. The count remains three and two. The three two pitch again coming up from Miller. Fouled off his foot, ouch. That's gotta hurt. And still, the count remains three and two to Jeff Spites. Yeah. 
Spites shakes off that last foul ball. It went off his front foot and waits for the 3-2 pitch for Miller. Way out in front, strike three. Miller fooled him with a breaking ball. Spites unable to hold up the swing. Casey Gallagher, the first baseman, steps in. Gallagher hitting 383. This Bronco lo lineup loaded with hitters. They hit 350 as a team on the season. Led by Danny Putnam's 519 mark. The pitch to Gallagher. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Here's one out here in the first. No score. Actually, the second inning, top of the second. And the 0-1 pitch, low, 1-1. One and one. We're in the top of the second, Rancho Bernardo, playing Poway in the CIF, Division I Baseball Championship Final. Popped up, foul territory, out of play. A group of Poway students come up with that souvenir. And the count goes to one and two. Miller's pitch in there, called strike three. So two up and two down here in the second. And the batter will be number 34, John Peabody, the right fielder. Peabody hitting 316 with six home runs, 23 RBI, batting in the number six spot. Facing Miller here with two out and nobody on in the top of the second. The first pitch from Miller, strike one. Miller looking in. The one strike pitch low. And that gets away from the catcher Caleb Allen. Rolls all the way back to the backstop. One and one. No score early on. Here in this CIF Division I baseball final between the Poway Titans and the Broncos of Rancho Bernardo. Strike two. Peabody, one strike away from striking out the side here in the second. The one-two pitch. Low. Miller struck out the first two batters, trying to get John Peabody. Right here, the count two and two. Low, ball three, in the dirt. Allen doing a nice job of blocking that. So the count goes three and two to Peabody. Miller's pitch, fouled straight back. Miller threw a 3-2 breaking ball and Peabody way out in front of it, just able to get a piece of it. And the count remains three and two. Again, the 3-2 pitch from Miller. Foul back again, up and over the press box here at Tony Gwynn Stadium. What a beautiful facility here. Sun's just gone down. Not much of a breeze this evening. About 65 degrees, just cooling off. Now Miller again, the 3-2 pitch. 
Ball four. Miller walking halfway down to the first baseline. He thought he had it. And Peabody gets a walk. That'll bring up Dorian Dixon, the left fielder. Number 24, left fielder Dorian Dixon. Dixon hitting 309 on the season. Left-hander. He's a 5'10 senior. Facing Miller for the first time tonight. Miller's first pitch up high, ball one. Two out, a runner at first. John Peabody drawing a walk here in the top of the second. Dixon waits. Miller over to first. Peabody diving back in safely. Now the 1-0 pitch to Dixon. There go Peabody bluffs and goes back to first. Peabody with three or four hard steps down a second and then threw on the brakes. And the count one and one to Dixon. Now the throw back over to first. Peabody again diving in ahead of the throw. Ball two. Two and one to Dixon. Peabody, seven stolen bases on the year. He was caught once. Broncos like the run. They have 50 stolen bases on the year. Another throw to first by Miller. Peabody back in plenty of time. Dixon, the left-hander, waiting. Swing in. Hit into center field. Peabody rounding second, going to third. Dixon will hold it first. And runners at first and third. And that'll bring up Robbie Gould. Number 15, Robbie designated hitter, Robbie Giles. Robbie Giles, number 15, the DH, comes in hitting 319. We have two out, runners at first and third, here in the top of the second. First threat by either team. Miller struck out the first two batters in this inning before he ran into a little bit of trouble. Giles takes strike one. A walk to Peabody and a hard single by Dixon to center. And there are runners at the corners with two out. Swing and a miss, strike two. So Miller gets ahead of Giles, 0 and 2. And a chance to get out of the inning here. The 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. So Miller does strike out the side. No runs, one hit. No errors, two left. At the end of one and a half, still no score. Leading off the second inning for the Poway Titans, number 10, the center fielder, Scott McFarlane. McFarlane comes in tonight with a 310 batting average. Dowdy's first pitch fouled back off the press box. One strike. The count to McFarlane. The Titans come into tonight's game. They were the 10th seed in the playoffs. They finished tied for second in the Palomar League with an 8 and 7 record. Overall, 19 and 14. McFarland takes high, one and one.
The head coach for the Titans, Bob Perry, his assistants, John Valles, Bob Ludekin, and Josh Ham. The 1-1 one -one from Dowdy. Over the top of the pitcher's mound, Blaylock on a big hop, and he throws the runner out easily. Nice play by Jake Blaylock. And there's one out here in the second. Number 27, first baseman, Scott Lonergan. That'll bring up the first baseman, number 27, Scott Lonergan. Lonergan hitting 279. Lonergan, a 6'2 junior. Takes the first pitch for a ball. Dowdy pops him up in the left. Center fielder coming over, Danny Putnam, and makes the put out. So there's two out here in the second. That'll bring up the center fielder, Chris Kerper, number six. Number six left fielder, Chris Kerper. Kerper hitting 329. And he takes the first pitch high, ball one. Kerper, a six foot senior up there right handed against Dowdy. Dowdy's 1 0 pitch. Fooled him. Kerper way out in front, one and one. Strike call, one and two. Dowdy's pitch, strike three called. So Kerper goes down looking, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left at the end of two complete innings of play. No score between the Broncos of Rancho Bernardo and the Titans of Poway High. Leading off here in the third inning for the Broncos, number two, David Moorhead, the third baseman. Moorhead batting in the number nine spot, takes a strike from Miller. Moorhead comes in hitting 279. Moorhead, a 5'9 sophomore, looks at strike two. No score here in the top of the third inning. The Broncos and the Titans battling in the CIF Division I Baseball Championship. Fastball up high. One and two to Moorhead. I'm Jeff Scott and coming to you tonight live from the Tony Gwynn Stadium. Beautiful San Diego State University campus. What a wonderful facility. Built with the help of a generous donation from Padres owner John Moore. Strike three. Moorhead goes down swinging. One out here in the third. Well, Miller struck Number out the side fielder, Danny in the last inning, and now he starts off with a strikeout here. Up next for the Broncos, the center fielder, Danny Putnam. Putnam, 0 for 1 so far tonight. But he comes in tonight with a 519 batting average. As I mentioned earlier, 19 home runs and 48 RBI, a leading candidate for CIF Player of the Year. And he takes ball one from Miller. Putnam has led this Bronco team all year long. Currently, not only are they ranked number one in the county, they're ranked number six in the nation. Putnam, a big reason why. The 1-0 pitch from Miller outside ball two.
Let me tell you how the Broncos got here. They had a first round bye and then met Rancho Buena Vista, another Palomar League foe. In the quarterfinals, they beat RBV 5 to 3. In the semifinals, the Broncos down San Marcos 7 to 4. And here they are for the third year in a row. Back to back defending CIF champions, trying to repeat for a third time. There's a strike. Three and one to Putnam. If the Broncos can win tonight, they'll be the first team to win three Division I titles in a row since the Mira Mesa Marauders did it back in 90, 91, and 92. Ball four to Putnam, and Putnam draws a walk. So a runner on here in the third. Number 29. That brings up Chris Jensen. Chris Jensen. Jensen 0 for 1. With a runner at first. Putnam 19 stolen bases on the year. He leads the club. And ripped into right field. Sinking liner caught by the right fielder. Putnam scurrying back the first base, back in time. Jensen with a low liner into right field. Hard to pick up off the bat. Number nine, the shortstop, Jake Blaylock. Right fielder Ryan King doing a nice job to make the play and then tried to double Putnam up off of first. That'll bring up Jake Blaylock. Jake Blaylock, the shortstop. 0 for 1. Came in batting 402 on that. There's a throw to first. And it gets away from the first baseman. Putnam down to second. He'll look and stay at second base. So Miller's pickoff attempt getting away from Lonergan. And Putnam down to second. He calls time. Okay now, Putnam down at second, Blaylock waiting for the first pitch from Miller. He takes a strike. Miller checks the runner. Now the one strike pitch to Blaylock. Popped up to right field. High in the air. King under it and makes the play. So no runs, no hits, one error, one man left on at the end of two and a half innings. Still no score between the Broncos of Rancho Bernardo and the Titans of Poway High. Leading off the third inning for the Titans, number 21, the catcher, Caleb Allen. Allen hitting 226 on the year. Takes a ball from Dowdy, 1-0 1-0 pitch up high, 2-0. Well, the Titans took a very different route to these championships. They were seeded 10th, beginning the playoffs. They beat La Costa Canyon 4-3 as Dowdy's 2-0 pitch is low, 3-0. In the quarterfinals, they upset Fallbrook 7-0 before they knocked off Vista 2-0 in the semis, beating the number two and three ranked teams. And here they are facing number one, Rancho Bernardo in the final. Dowdy's pitch, ball four inside. And Allen draws a walk on four straight pitches. Number one, second baseman, Nate Polikoff. That brings up Nate Polikoff, the second baseman. No outs here in the third. A runner at first, Caleb Allen. He drew a walk. 
in Polakoff to face Doughty for the first time tonight. There's a throw. Just an easy toss back to first to keep Allen close. That's not Doughty's good move to first. We saw that earlier. Foul back. Of a running bunt there, and they count 0 and 1 to Polakoff. As you would expect, Allen, the catcher, doesn't run much. No stolen bases on the year, no attempts. Dowdy's pitch up high. Again, Polakoff showing bunt. One and one is the count. Polakoff trying to move the runner to second. No outs here in the third. He bunts it right at the pitcher. Dowdy up with it to the shortstop. Back to first, not in time. Throw getting away from the first baseman. Polakoff safe on the fielder's choice. Back to the top. Of the One out. The right fielder, number two, Ryan King. And Ryan King, the leadoff hitter, will come up for the second time. King 0 for 1. King leads the team in home runs with four from the leadoff position. So he's got some pop in his bat. Polakoff taking his lead at first. Breaking ball, low. Polakoff, not much of a threat to run either. He doesn't have any stolen bases on the year, and Doughty just wants to be sure and chases him back to first. So King waits for the 1-0 pitch. Inside, 2-0. Doughty falls behind, 2-0 to King. Polakoff at first, one out here in the third. Inside, ball three. Doughty's already walked one batter in this inning. Doesn't want to walk a second. Poway hitters being very patient at the plate. The 3-0 pitch, there's a strike. Three and one. The three one, and he throws to first. Good move. Nearly fooled Polakoff. Now the 3-1 pitch from Doughty. Inside, ball four in the second walk of the inning for Justin Doughty. And that will bring up Nick Purcell, the shortstop. Number five, shortstop, Nick Purcell. Doughty. In 82 and two-thirds innings coming into tonight, only 18 walks with 79 strikeouts. Go Justin. But he's got two walks here in the third. The Titans have a little rally going. First pitch up high, ball one. <laughs> one out, runners at first and second. Nick Purcell, the shortstop. Up at the plate. Purcell is 0 for 1 tonight. Off speed pitch, strike call, 1 and 1.
Purcell frozen by that good off-speed pitch by Dowdy. They're playing behind the runner at first. Dowdy's pitch swung on and missed in the dirt. Strike two to Purcell. Purcell, a five foot four junior, playing shortstop tonight. Dowdy checks the runners. His pitch in the dirt again. Spites with a good save. Kept that ball from going all the way back to the backstop. Trapped it underneath him and held the runners. So it's two and two to Purcell. Dowdy's struggling a little bit with his command right now. Here in the bottom of the third, there's no score. This is the CIF. Oh, and he threw away the pickoff pitch. It goes over the first baseman's head. One run's going to score. The throw to the plate, not in time. Jeff Spice with a good play to hold on to that ball. And a collision, and there may be an injured Injury at home plate. Nate Polakoff going around Jeff Spites, the catcher. They collided. He collapses at home plate, reaches out, touches the plate, scores the run, and he hasn't gotten up. And Bob Perry out there complaining loudly to the home plate umpire. Ryan King standing all alone at third base after the error, the throwing error by the pitcher Dowdy. Second base, number one, Nate Polakoff. Nate Polakoff up off the deck after that collision at home plate. He scores the first run of the game on a throwing error by pitcher Justin Dowdy. Dowdy trying to pick Ryan King off of first. Just let it get away from him. The first baseman, Gallagher, playing behind the runner, tried to sneak in behind King. Dowdy's throw was high. And both runners advanced two bases. And there's a sharply hit ball into center. Putnam up with it. The runner tags. He'll score. And it's two to nothing, Poway. And listen to that Titan crowd. Poway hasn't been to the CIF Division I baseball final Sacrifice. since 1983. Number 11, third baseman Tyler Whiteman. In 1983, they lost to Helix in the championship game. Nine to one back in 83. The last time Poway won a CIF title was back in 1963 when they beat Oceanside, three to nothing. So it's been a long time for these Titans. Now batting for the Titans, number 11, Tyler Whiteman. He singled in the first. Third baseman Whiteman takes ball two. Whiteman waits and takes a strike. Two and one. So both those walks have come back to hurt Dowdy. First run scoring on an error, the second run on a sacrifice fly, and the Titans lead. There's that ball hit back up through the box. It went off Dowdy's leg. Blaylock can't make the throw, and Whiteman is safe at first. That's going to go as an infield hit for Whiteman. That ball hit right back up the middle. 
number 35. And it hit Dowdy on the way through. And Whiteman has his second hit. That brings up the pitcher, Will Miller. Miller 0 for 1 tonight. Facing his counterpart. Two outs. Runner at first. Another pickoff throw. Goes wild. Runner's going to go at a second and hold there. And uncharacteristically, another throwing error by Dowdy. And Whiteman goes into second. So a runner at second, two out. And the pitching coach is going to come out and have a talk with Dowdy. And we'll be right back after the break. And we're back to live action here. Justin Dowdy facing Will Miller. Miller swings and misses, strike one. Well, Dowdy has hit a little bump in the road. The Titans have scored two runs this inning. Both runs coming actually before the first hit. That ball tapped to the third baseman. Up with it, he juggles it in the dirt, not in time. Safe at first and everything seems to be going Poway's way. Titans are catching all kinds of breaks. Third baseman David Moorhead had a hard time getting that ball out of his glove. He flipped it up in the air, juggled it momentarily, and then threw low into the dirt. Now Scott McFarland, the center fielder, steps in. The official score ruled that a hit. And that's the second hit of the inning. Still, the ball hasn't got out of the infield on any of them. And Dowdy rears back and throws it by Lonergan. Excuse me, McFarland. McFarland looks at strike two. Runners at first and third, two out. And Dowdy just throwing hard right now. Strike three called. But not before the damage is done. Two runs on two hits. No errors. Two men left. At the end of three complete, Poway leads Rancho Bernardo two to nothing. Leading off the fourth for the Broncos, number 22, the catcher, Jeff Spites. The Broncos trail two to nothing after a couple of costly throwing errors by pitcher Justin Dowdy. Miller's first pitch to Spites, ball one. The 1 0 pitch, hit up the middle. Short stop behind the back, dives, can't get it. Pops out of his glove. And Spites is safe. That should be ruled a hit. And it is. That brings up Casey Gallagher, the first baseman, number 14. And number Gallagher, 14. 0 for baseman 1 on the night. Casey Gallagher. Gallagher hitting 383 coming into tonight. Your attention, please. Now running at first base, number 10, Justin Pena. And a pinch runner just in the game for the Broncos, running for Spites, number 10, Justin Pena. Gallagher now digs in against Miller. The first pitch fouled back to the screen, strike one.
Pena with a big lead at first. The one strike pitch, blooped into center, that's gonna drop. The right fielder actually cuts it off and gets it back into the infield quickly. That ball dropping in to right center field and Gallagher with his first hit. Number 34, right fielder John Peabody. That'll bring up John Peabody, the right fielder. He walked in the second inning. He comes on with nobody out and two runners on. Couple of hits by the Broncos to start this fourth inning. They find themselves trailing two to nothing in the CIF title game. Pena at second, Gallagher at first, Miller steps off and calls time. Just wants to confer with his catcher. Probably make sure of the signs. The Broncos love to run. As I mentioned earlier, 50 stolen bases on the year by the top ranked Broncos. Now Miller ready to go. Peabody waits. And Miller steps off again. Justin Pena, the pinch runner, giving him some concern over there off a second. Pena dancing off a second. Now the pitch, hitting the air to center field. Shallow, Pena's gonna tag. He does, he bluffs, and a strong throw. Scott McFarland. Would have nailed Pena at third had Pena tried to challenge his arm. And there's one out, and that'll bring up Dorian Dixon, the left Number fielder. 24 left fielder, Dorian Dixon. Dixon hitting 309. A 5'10 senior. He's one for one. He got the first Bronco hit back in the second inning. The pitch in the dirt from Miller. Blocked by the catcher, Allen. Pena unable to advance. The 1-0 pitch coming up from Miller. He checks the runner at second. Swung on and driven over to left. Left fielder got turned around, made a diving. No, he doesn't make the play. It comes out of his glove. The runners all advance one base. And that's it. The left fielder, Chris Kerper, got turned around backwards. I think he lost the ball up in the lights. And as he stumbled and fell, the ball just popped out of his glove. And now we've got another pinch runner. Number 32, Tristan Gale. Up to bat, number 15, designated hitter Robbie Giles. Looks like they've ruled that a hit by the official score. And Robbie Giles comes up to DH. Giles 0 for 1, hitting 319 on the year coming into tonight's game. The bases are loaded, there's only one out here in the fourth. Poway scored two in the bottom of the third to take the lead, but the Broncos charging right back. Giles at the plate. The bases loaded on three singles. Pena. Dancing off a third. Miller. There's his strike. One and one to Giles. Just 
Miller out of the stretch. Looks at the runner at third. Low. Ball two, two and one to Giles. Miller needs a ground ball to get out of this inning. Giles needs a hit to break this inning open for the Broncos. Swung on and fouled down the right field line. Off the top of the dugout. I guess that's the uh, bullpen down there, the covered bullpens here at Tony Gwynn Stadium on the campus of San Diego State. Two and two to Giles. Bases loaded, one out. Here in the top of the fourth. Swung on and missed, and a big strikeout by Miller. That's some clutch pitching, and now with two out, David Moorhead, the third baseman, will come up. Number two, third baseman, David Moorhead. Not out of trouble yet. The bases are still loaded. Moorhead the batter. Moorhead 0 for 1 tonight. Facing Miller for the second time. Low in the dirt. Ball one. Caleb Allen doing a nice job of blocking that in the dirt and not allowing a run to come in. Pena, the pinch runner, number 10, dancing off the bag at third. The 1-0 pitch from Miller coming up. Pena bluffs down the line. Low ball two. Third baseman Tyler Whiteman going in to have a word with his pitcher. I don't know if they're going to try to put a play on at third. I doubt it. Whiteman playing far behind the runner. Miller from the stretch. There's a strike. Two and one to Moorhead. Moorhead hitting 279 to coming in tonight's contest. The bases are loaded. The Broncos are threatening here in the top of the fourth. They trail Poway two to one in the CIF Division I championship game. I'm Jeff Scott, you're watching a George Langevin video production. Coming to you tonight from Tony Gwynn Stadium. Here on the campus of San Diego State. The stadium is packed tonight. Miller's pitch swung on and missed. Strike two. Three and two. And a chance for Miller to get out of the inning. With two out, the runners will be in motion. Pena all the way down. Ground ball to the shortstop. He'll go all the way to first for the out. And the Titans get out of the inning. No runs. Three hits. No errors and three runners left on base. At the end of three and a half, Poway still leads two to nothing. Sorry. Lading off here in the bottom of the fourth. First baseman, Scott the first baseman, Scott Lonergan. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Facing Dowdy for the second time. The Titans lead 2 to nothing here in the CIF Division 1 Baseball Championship Final from Tony Gwynn Stadium. They're facing their Palomar League rivals, the Rancho Bernardo Broncos, the top ranked team in the county. And there's a strike from Dowdy. One and one. The 
Titans have dropped four in a row to the Broncos this year and haven't beaten Rancho Bernardo since 1997, but they're pulling an upset right now. That last pitch inside from Dowdy, the count goes to three and one. The three one pitch. Low. And that was the third ball. Strike three. So it was a 3-2 pitch from Dowdy. And with one out, that brings up number six, Chris Kerper, six, the left Kurt fielder. Kerper 0 for 1. Pops it straight up in the infield. The pitcher, Dowdy, calling for it. Makes the play, and there's two out here in the fourth. That'll bring up the catcher, number 21, Caleb Allen. Number 21, catcher Caleb Allen. Caleb Allen started off the third inning rally with a walk. Ground ball back to the pitcher, Dowdy. Over to first base for the third out, and the Titans go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. At the end of four complete, Poway leads two to nothing. Broncos zero. Number 18, center fielder Danny Putman. Danny Putnam to lead off here in the fifth inning. Putnam walked his last at bat, and they stranded Putnam at third base, facing Miller for the third time tonight. And the first pitch to Putnam, drilled deep into center field. Center fielder going back to the wall, makes the catch at the wall. What a great defensive play by center fielder Scott McFarland. Danny Putnam hit that about 405 feet, just short of the 410 mark in center. Number 29, second baseman Chris Jensen. That'll bring up Chris Jensen, the second baseman. So one away, and the first pitch to Jensen is a ball low. And a special treat right now, we're being joined by Assistant CIF San Diego Section Commissioner Dennis Ackerman. Dennis, first of all, congratulations. A month from now, you're going to be the, the commissioner, aren't you? That, that's right, starting July 1. July 1. Now, you've been working with Jan Jessup for the last few years, and Jan's kind of wrapping it up here. Uh, what's it been like these last few years as the assistant commissioner of the CIF? Well, it's been a pleasure to work with Jan. I've learned a lot with Jan, and we've, we've really worked well together the last five years. And uh, she has really brought us some good things to the CIF, and I hope I can fill those big shoes she has. And there's a shot ripped into right field on a bounce. Jensen will hold with a single. Well, Dennis, you guys have done a great job in bringing a lot of more corporate sponsorship to the CIF playoffs. The number of teams involved has grown. Now we've got the number of sports has actually grown. You just sanctioned a new sport, lacrosse. That, that's right. Starting ne next spring, we're going to have men's and women's lacrosse. Looks like there's about uh, 26 to 30 schools that are going to field teams next year. So we'll be having a championship right about this time next year for both men's and women's lacrosse. That's right. Well, what a beautiful night tonight. Look at this full crowd. I'm sure this is what you'd hope for. Nothing like being at the big ballpark on a night like this. You got two great teams playing and we got an upset brewing right now. Two zip in the top of the fifth. That's right. Poway trying to win their first title. I'm looking here in the CIF 
uh, program. Their first title since 63, is that correct? That, that's right. Uh, they haven't been here. They've been to the playoffs, and they've been, I think they got to the semifinals. 83 was the last time they were in the championship game where they lost to uh, Helix. Right, so it's been a long time for them. So, uh, And, of course, RB has beaten Pow, I believe, what, twice this year? Four times Four this times. year. Four times, okay. Well, you know what happens sometimes. That's right, sometimes. That streak has to end sometime. I know that Sam Blaylock doesn't want it to end tonight, though. <laughs> Not tonight. That's <laughs> Not what Sam to told me. <laughs> Not tonight. Well, Dennis, thanks, and congratulations on your new post. Many Th good, successful for your years for the CIF San Diego section. Great, and you keep up the great work. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. He does a good job. This chamber has no windows. Now up for the Broncos, the shortstop, number nine, Jake Blaylock. Ball two to Blaylock. Miller. Three and zero actually to Blaylock. And a pitch down low, and Blaylock draws a walk. So two on, runners on, one out, and Jeff Spites is up. And we're gonna have another conference at the mound. We'll be back after this break. Jeff Spites, one for two on the night. He led off the fourth inning with a single. Started the rally that fizzled, and the Broncos left the bases loaded. But he's up here again with runners at first and second. One out, and a chance to get the Broncos on the board. So a pitching change for the Titans. Will Miller will leave. He pitched four and a third innings, giving up five hits, no runs. And now, coming in from the bullpen. As soon as we get the number. Let's see who it is for the Titans. Number 27. Seven, Scott Lonergan moving over to the first base. Scott Lonergan, the first baseman, into pitch now. Miller moves to first base. You hear the music in the background. This crowd is pumped up. So the new pitcher for Poway, Scott Lonergan. Number 27 comes over from first base in relief of Miller. Lonergan's first pitch to Spites is in there for a strike. Lonergan with 66 innings pitched, a 2.21 ERA. That's the lowest on the pitching staff for the Titans this year. Lonergan was 6-5 in the regular season. 44 strikeouts. And we've got a balk. And the runners advance to second and third. So now, Spites with runners at second and third and one out. On the Lonergan Bach. Tying run is at second. 
And the pitch to Spites. Popped up, first base side. Miller backing up. He's under it and makes the play. Oh, the runner tagged at third and bluffed going home. Miller getting it back to Lonergan quickly. Number and there are two out here in the fifth. Casey Gallagher. Casey Gallagher steps in. Casey Gallagher one for two tonight. With two out and two on, he's got a chance to get the Broncos even here. The tying run is at second. The first pitch from Lonergan in there for a strike. Jensen at third. Blaylock at second. Gallagher. The one strike pitch. High, ball one. There are two out here in the fifth. The Poway Titans lead the Rancho Bernardo Broncos two to nothing in the Division I CIF Baseball Championship Final. Hit deep to left field. Back to the warning track. Back off the wall. One run is in, two runs are in. He's digging hard for third. And he slides in with a triple. And we've got a tie ball game. Casey Gallagher with a triple to left off the wall. Jensen scores, Blaylock scores. That brings up John Peabody, number 34, the right fielder. Peabody with a chance to put his ball club ahead. The go-ahead run just 90 feet away. Peabody waits for the pitch from Lonergan. Lonergan, the full windup, throws it in the dirt, ball one. Caleb Allen doing a great job of keeping that in front of him. Gallagher gets a big lead, bluffs down the third baseline. The 1 0 pitch called strike, 1 and 1. So it's all tied up here in the fifth, 2 to 2. The Broncos rally. And it's not over yet. Two outs, a runner at third. Time is called by Peabody. Lonergan came in with one out. Runners at first and second. He got Spites to pop up before Casey Gallagher hit a triple off the wall in left field to drive in two inside the game. And Lonergan, with strike two called, is ahead of Peabody one and two. Lonergan, off speed pitch. Hit down the left field line. Another run will come in, and the Broncos lead three to two. Peabody with a big RBI single. Brings in Gallagher, and the Broncos lead three to two. That'll bring up Dorian Dixon, number 24, the left fielder. The Broncos showing you why they're the number one ranked team in the county. A hit by Jensen, Blaylock walked, a triple by Gallagher, and a single by Peabody. And the Broncos lead three to two here in the fifth. Runner going, throw down a second, not in time. Stolen base for John Peabody. I told you the Broncos like to run 50 stolen bases. I believe that's number eight on the year for Peabody. 
And Dixon, who is two for two tonight, with a chance to drive in another run. Hits sharply to the shortstop. On a hop, over to first base, in time. And the Broncos score three runs on two hit, three hits. No errors, they leave one. At the end of five, four and a half, the Broncos take the lead, three to two. Poway, Brandon Trumbo. A pinch hitter for the Titans, leading off here in the bottom of the fifth inning, number 17, Brandon Trumbo. Trumbo fouls the first pitch back. Justin Dowdy gets ahead, 0-1. So the Broncos of Rancho Bernardo take the lead three to two in the fifth inning. Breaking ball low, one and one. They lead the Titans of Poway three to two in the CIF Division I Baseball Championship. Swung on and missed, strike two. Dowdy ahead of Trumbo, one and two. Foul back over the top of the press box. The count remains one and two. Trumbo battling up there. I'm Jeff Scott. You're watching a George Langevin video production from Tony Gwynn Stadium on the campus of San Diego State University. A packed house tonight. Ground ball to the second baseman. Jensen over to first base in time, and there's one out here in the sixth. That was Stuart Pollock up to bat. Top of the order, center fielder, number 18, Danny Putnam. Ryan King, the right fielder, up next. He's 0 for 1 with a walk and a run scored. And King takes inside, ball one. King hitting 300, fouls the next pitch back. And they count one and one to Ryan King. Well, Justin Dowdy pitching with a lead for the first time tonight. The one-one pitch, foul back over the press box again, and the count goes to one and two. The Titans with two runs in the third. Led briefly. The Broncos rallied with three in the fifth. Now the Titans here in their half of the fifth trying to regain the lead. One out. The one-two pitch is low. Two and two to Ryan King. The pitch by Dowdy fouled back again. Up and over the press box. King battling. Dowdy throwing hard here in the fifth. Off speed pitch, hit to right field. Down the line, going for it, a diving catch. What a terrific play by the right fielder, John Peabody. John Peabody laid out and made a diving catch close to the line, denying Ryan King extra bases. And there are two out here in the fifth. That brings up Nick Purcell. Purcell, the shortstop, 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly and an RBI tonight. Facing Dowdy for the third time. Hits a ground ball to the third baseman. Over to first. Dropped. And Purcell cannot advance to second. 
First baseman Casey Gallagher making an error. That's the third error for the Broncos tonight. Number the throw by Moorhead wasn't that low. Gallagher just unable to get a glove on it. And Tyler Whiteman comes up for the Titans. Tyler Whiteman, two for two tonight. Looking for his third hit. Trying to extend this Poway Titan rally. Two out, runner at first. Whiteman at the plate. Dowdy checks the runner. Whiteman hits it down the line, just foul. Third baseman had no chance at that and nearly hit the third base umpire. And Whiteman out in front of that pitch from Dowdy. Whiteman hitting 362. He's the leading hitter for the Titans this year. Two hits tonight. He's also their leading RBI man with 25. Throw to first. Back in plenty of time is Purcell. So Purcell reaching on an air. He's at first base. Two outs. Whiteman at the plate. There's a bouncing ball to the third baseman. He'll have to hurry. Takes on a shortstop. Throw, and he's safe. Moorhead had to take it on the short hop off the grass. And Whiteman hustling down the line. Legs out an infield hit. So the Titans try to rally in their half of the fifth. First baseman, Will Miller. Now Will Miller steps up. Will Miller, the first baseman. He started out on the mound tonight. He is one for two with a hit. Back in the third inning. And he fouls this back. Over on the right side, Dowdy ahead, 0-1. Runners at first and second. Two out. The bottom of the fifth. Rancho Bernardo leads Poway in a tight one, three to two. Popped up on the first base side. Is there room? Gallagher drifting over, makes the play, and Rancho Bernardo gets out of the inning. No runs. One hit, one error. Two left at the end of five complete innings of play. Rancho Bernardo, three, Poway, two. Giles. Leading off the top half of the six for the Broncos. Number 15, the DH, Robbie Giles. Giles takes strike one from Lonergan. Giles 0 for 2 tonight, hitting 319 on the year. Low, 1 and 1. We're in the top of the sixth. The Broncos lead the Titans of Poway 3 to 2 in this CIF Division I Championship Final. And that pitch all the way back to the backstop, way over the batter's head, and the count goes to two and one. I'm Jeff Scott. You're watching a George Langevin video production from Tony Gwynn Stadium here on the campus of San Diego State University. We've got a thrilling ball game. Poway got out to an early two to nothing lead, but the number one seeded Broncos rallied, scoring three in the fifth to take a three to two lead, and that's where we stand right now. The Broncos trying to repeat, trying to three-peat here in Division I. They'd be the first team to win three Division I titles since 1990, 91, 92, when the Mira Mesa Marauders did it. Ground ball up the middle, base hit. Giles rounds first, and he'll hold with a single. That brings up the third baseman, number two, David Moorhead. Yeah. 
Number two, right fielder, Ryan King. So Moorhead, the batter, he's 0 for 2 tonight, facing Lonergan for the first time. Giles with a lead at first. Moorhead shows bunt. Third baseman and first baseman charging in. Third baseman in on the grass. They show bunt again and it's high. Ball two to Moorhead. Moorhead trying to move the runner to second. Lonergan giving him nothing to, to bunt. A runner at first, nobody out. There's a bunt right back to the pitcher. This could be two. Nope, the throw pulled him off the bag. And the second error by the Titans tonight. The ball bunted right back to Lonergan. He went to the shortstop, Purcell. The throw was high and pulled him off the bag. That error should be charged to the pitcher. That was a tailor-made double play ball. Bunted hard right back to the pitcher. And now the center fielder, number 18, Danny Putnam, steps in. Putnam 0 for 2 with a walk, but he's hit a couple of deep drives to center tonight, trying to add to his CIF San Diego section record of 19 home runs in the season. Putnam, runners at first and second, takes low ball one. Putnam also leading the county and RBIs with 48 on the year. Having a monster season at the plate. All in the leadoff spot. Low, blocked in the dirt. Caleb Allen doing a great job of keeping that in front of him and not letting the runners advance. Giles at second, Moorhead at first. No one out here in the top of the sixth. Putnam. Takes ball three outside. Lonergan running into a little bit of trouble here. Sure, you don't want to mistake, make a mistake to Putnam, but Chris Jensen follows, and he's got 10 homers and 39 RBI, batting in the number two spot. Breaking ball in there for a strike, three and one. Runners at first and second. Lonergan checks the runners. Now Putnam pops it up into shallow center. McFarland coming on, makes the catch. The runners have to retreat. And there's one out here in the sixth. That'll bring up Chris Jensen. Second baseman, Chris Jensen. Jensen is one for three tonight. He singled back in the fifth and scored a run. The first run to get the Broncos on the board. Lonergan. His first pitch to Putnam, strike one. Jensen way behind on that fastball. Giles at second. Moorhead at first. One out here in the top of the sixth. The one strike pitch coming up to Jensen, low, one and one.
Swung on and missed, strike two. Lonergan just throwing it by right now. Jensen unable to catch up with the fastball. And the count one and two. Lonergan checks the runner at second. Strike three, and he blows it by Jensen. And there's two out, and that'll bring up Jake Blaylock, the shortstop. Number nine, shortstop Jake Blaylock. Well, Lonergan hand handling the first two batters in the lineup, Putnam and Jensen. Now he faces the number three hitter, Blaylock, with runners at first and second and two out. Blaylock, ground ball to the shortstop, backhand in the hole. He goes to third. And they get him. Good play by the shortstop, Purcell. No runs, one hit, one error, two left on. At the end of five and a half innings of play, the Rancho Bernardo Broncos lead the Titans of Poway three to two. Hey, fans. Leading off the bottom of the sixth inning, number 10, the center fielder, Scott McFarlane. McFarlane, 0 for 2 tonight, comes in hitting 310 on the season. Justin Dowdy still on the mound for the Broncos. He's their ace. And there's a strike, 0 and 2 to Dowdy. The Pat. Poway Titans trying to rally here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. That pitch up high from Dowdy, one and two. The Titans led two to nothing on a pair of unearned runs in the third. Rancho Bernardo storm back, popped up now. Second baseman waving everybody off. Jensen makes the play back on the outfield grass, and there's one out here in the sixth. Like I said, the Broncos, they rallied for three runs in the fifth. And that's where we stand in the bottom of the sixth inning. The CIF title game, the Division I Baseball Championship on the line. Stepping in now for the Titans, number 27, Scott Lonergan. He's the pitcher. Fouled it back. Just. Poway trying to win their first title since 1963. They haven't been to the title game since 83 when they lost to Helix. Rancho Bernardo trying to complete a three-peat. And that pitch fouled back by Lonergan. 0-2. Oh Dowdy, the windup, and that's hit to right center. Putnam, racing over, makes the play. Strong throw into the infield. And there are two out here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. That'll bring up number six, number six the left fielder, Chris Kerper. Chris Kerper. Kerper, 0 for 3 tonight. Trying to keep this inning alive for the Titans. The Titans need base runners. Kerper looks at strike one. Dowdy getting very strong here. Hasn't given up a hit since the third inning. Dowdy up high, one and one. Coming into tonight. Dowdy 12-0 with a 0 0.93 ERA. And that ball hit to center. Putnam, he's got it easily for the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left at the end of six complete innings of play. Rancho Bernardo leads Poway 3-2.
Leading off the seventh inning for the Broncos, number 22, the catcher, Jeff Spites. Jeff Spites one for three tonight. He singled to lead off the fourth inning for the Broncos. Facing Lonergan. That pitch inside and all the way back to the backstop. Spice just ducking out of the way of that. Lonergan throwing hard for the Titans. Spites waiting. The 1 0 pitch up high. They appeal down to first to see if Spice went around. The first base umpire says no. And the count's 2 0. Lonergan looking in. A wind up in the pitch. Spites hits it to right field. It's sinking in front of the right fielder. He can't make the play. And Spites with a single to right. That ball not hit hard. Number 14, he just dropped in front of the right PC fielder. Gallagher. Ryan King unable to make the play. And that will bring up Casey Gallagher. Well, Casey Gallagher, the hero so far tonight, it was his triple off the wall in left field that tied the game at two. Gallagher, two for three tonight with a triple and a single. First pitch, ball one. Spites down at first base. No one out here in the top half of the seventh inning. The CIF Division I Baseball Championship. Blew it by him, strike one. The count to Monty Gallagher. Spites with a short lead off of first. Oh, and that hit him. That one got away from Lonergan and he hit him on the hip. Gallagher will go down to first, Spites down to second, and that'll bring up John Peabody, the right fielder. Number 34, right fielder, John Peabody. John Peabody. He's been, he's been a hero tonight with the bat and with the glove. He drove in the third run to put the Broncos ahead in the fifth inning and then came up with a diving catch in the outfield to take extra bases away from Ryan King. And the Poway coach will want to go out and talk to their pitcher. We'll be right back after this break. Lonergan set to face Peabody. Peabody showing bunt. Tries to bunt and misses. First baseman charging in. Third baseman staying back to cover the bag at third. The one strike pitch coming up from Lonergan. He doesn't show bunt this time and takes low one and one to John Peabody. No one out here in the top half of the seventh. Runners at first and second. Peabody with a chance to extend Rancho Bernardo's lead. Peabody hits it to the left center. Center fielder over, makes the play. McFarland, he cuts his throw to third, gets away and goes all the way to the dugout. All oh, the pitcher backing it up, made a nice play, and now we've got a player in the rundown. Out at second. The throw going home. Oh, and he dropped it. Safe at the plate. Two runs score on a bizarre play. Peabody singles to left center. Driving in a run. On the throw, he tries to advance to second and gets picked off at second base. 
on the throw to second. Gallagher advances Number to score. The catcher drops the ball. Give John Peabody one RBI. Gallagher scoring on the throw. I don't know if they're going to give an error to the catcher or not. We'll have to wait and see. The Broncos get two more runs, and now they lead 5-2. to two. Lonergan hits it right here towards us, fouling out of play. Now batting number 24, Dorian Dixon, the left fielder. He's two for three tonight for the Broncos. And he takes low. The count one and one. Dixon, a 309 hitter. Swings and misses, strike two. <laughs> Tell me to take the ball. Dorian, a 5'10 senior. Trying to lead Rancho Bernardo back to the winner's circle again. Hits it off his fist over the shortstop's head into center field. McFarlane up with it, and he'll get it back in. That ball just got over the shortstop's head. Hit off the fist. And we're going to have a pinch runner. Number 35, Chris Lavis. He'll go in to run for Dixon. Dixon with his third hit of the night. Your attention, please. Now running at first base, number 35, Chris Lavis. Robbie Giles, number 15, the DH now up for the Broncos. He's one for three tonight. There's one out and a runner at first, and he takes high, ball one. <laughs> Giles, one of seven seniors on this Bronco team. Tries to check his swing, it's still a strike. And the count one and one. The Broncos lead five to two now in the seventh inning for this CIF Division I baseball championship. I'm Jeff Scott. You're watching a George Langevin video production from Tony Gwynn Stadium here at San Diego State University. Rancho Bernardo High School trying to win their third consecutive CIF Division I title. They lead the, their Palomar League rivals, Poway High Titans, 5-2 to two in the seventh. Two runs in already here in the seventh. A runner at first. Still only one out. And Giles. Fouls it straight back over the top of the press box. The count two and two. Lonergan came in to pitch in relief of Miller. Three of the five runs are going to be charged to him. He stands to be the loser right now. There's a shot in the center. Base hit. The runners hold and McFarlane up with it. That's the 12th hit by the Broncos tonight. Giles gets his second and that'll bring up number two, the third baseman, David Moorhead.
Well, Sam Blaylock called David Moorhead back in and pinch hitting for Moorhead, number 19, Cole Hamels. Hamels, a big left-handed junior, six foot three. Getting his first hit at bat tonight. Runners at first and second. He hits it on the ground to the second baseman. They go to second, back to first, and the ball thrown away. Another run's gonna score. And it's six to two Broncos. Hamels, safe at first on the air. The Titans looked like they were gonna turn two and get out of the inning. But the throw from Purcell back to first in the dirt. Miller unable to come up with it. Number 18. And another run scores. Now up for the fourth time tonight. Fourth official at bat, a fifth Your time tonight, Danny Putnam. The game as a runner, number two, David Moorhead. Moorhead now re-enters the game as a runner for Hamels. Putting him up with a runner at first. Lonergan throws over to first to keep the runner close. Cut. Putnam with a big cut. 0 and 1. Putnam 0 for 3 tonight with a walk. He's just missed on a couple of long drives to center field. He leads the county in home runs and RBIs. And he takes a strike 0 and 2. Putnam now steps back in for the Broncos. They lead six to two here in the seventh. They got three in the fifth and three here in the seventh, and they're not done. Putnam swings and misses strike three. Lonergan blows the fastball by him. But the Broncos get three runs on four hits, one error, and at the end of six and a half innings, the, the Broncos, Broncos lead six to two. Well, last chance here on the bottom of the seventh for the Poway Titans. Caleb Allen, the catcher up, facing Justin Dowdy of Rancho Bernardo. The Broncos lead six to three. Popped up. The second baseman, Jensen, makes the play, and there's one out here in the seventh. The Titans trail six to two here in the CIF Division I Championship Final. The Broncos on the verge of a third straight CIF title. Pinch hitting now, number 20, Mark Draper for the Titans. Number 20, Mark Draper. Draper, swing and a miss. And he falls behind 0-1. Dowdy blowing the fastball by him. Draper fouls that into the crowd. And that hit a young fan. Let's hope he's okay. We'll take a break here in the action. We'll be right back in a minute. We're back to live action. The 0-2 pitch to Draper up high, one and two. One out here in the seventh, the Titans trail. Six to two.
strike three. Draper goes down swinging, and there's two out here in the seventh. And the Bronco players are up at the edge of the dugout. Number two, right one out left Ryan to go. King. Ryan King, the leadoff batter. King over two tonight with a walk and a run scored. Trying to keep it alive for the Titans. The Broncos on the verge of another championship. Dowdy going strong here in the seventh. He's gone the whole way for Sam Blaylock. Popped up. This could be it. Left fielder Dixon makes the catch, and the Broncos are the 2001 CIF Division I champions. The players charge out onto the field. Congratulations to the Broncos. For this group of seniors, a special moment for them. They'll go out as three time champions. For Sam Blaylock, yet another title. Congratulations to the Poway Titans on a very successful season. Well, the Poway Titans put up quite a battle. They actually led until the fifth inning, but they ultimately fell to the Broncos. Final score, six to two. The Broncos, six runs, 12 hits, three errors. The Titans, two runs, four hits, four errors. The winning pitcher, Justin Dowdy. The losing pitcher, Scott Lonergan. Game-winning RBI, John Peabody. We'll take a short break, and after this, we'll be right back with some interviews on the field from the players and coaches.
Jeff Scott here at Tony Gwynn Stadium with the Division I CIF champs from Rancho Bernardo High School. Congratulations, guys. Justin Dowdy, the pitcher, terrific job. You went the distance tonight. Yeah, I, just, I felt good tonight, and I wanted that 13th win, and I definitely wanted a CIF title. Well, you battled back after a couple of early errors, and you really bore down the last couple of innings, didn't you? Yeah, I just I wanted that win so bad I could taste it. I mean, I wanted it. Oh, we could tell. Could and your battery mate over here, Jeff Spice, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, this feels great. Great job behind the plate and up at the plate today. Hey, well, hey, when you got a guy like this pitching, it's pretty easy, you know. Talk about your teammates. you got seven seniors on this team. What does it mean to get go out as the three-time champions? It feels great. I mean, all of us seniors, we, this is how we wanted to go out. It's our last game of the season. We win in, We go out with the CIF title. I mean, it's the greatest feeling in the world. What are you guys doing next year? I'm going to Dartmouth College. I got to, I'm going to Yavapai. Terrific, out in Arizona. Yeah. All right, well, good luck to you guys, and congratulations on a terrific championship. All right, enjoy your evening. Jeff Scott back here at Tony Gwynn Stadium with Poway head coach Bob Perry. Bob, congratulations just for getting here. I mean, tremendous job by your ball club. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we did. We, we had a good run that uh, last week. You know, we won three big games, and, uh, and we played real tough, and I think that's why we got here. And... Uh, we played, we played pretty tough today, but we had a real good team that we were up against, and it, a team that you can't really make mistakes on, and, and we did make a couple mistakes, and, and they took big advantage of it. They did. But like you said earlier, you had a good run. You beat a great Vista team. You beat a great Fallbrook team. You ran into a good team tonight, but talk about some of the players on your side that did the job for you. Yeah. Um, Tyler, 
Tyler Whiteman had three hits tonight. You know that's big in any playoff game to get three hits. And, and we had some pretty good defensive plays that, that kept us in the game. Scott McFarland made that great catch in uh, right center against uh, Danny Putnam. And Will Miller threw one of the best games I've ever seen him throw in his four-year varsity career. You know, we, we had a lot of guys, and, and we had everyone on the bench uh, helped out. And the guys that didn't have a big night tonight, they, they have had a lot to do with uh, the success that we've had this year. Your first time back to the finals since 1983. Congratulations on a tremendous season. Will we see you back here soon? Oh, yeah. I, we're we're going to start shooting for that right now. Tomorrow, tryouts for summer league. So, yeah, hopefully we will. All right, Bob, thanks for taking a few minutes to join us. We'll see you next time. Okay, thanks a lot. Jeff Scott here with the head coach of the championship Broncos, Sam Blaylock. Sam, congratulations again. Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be back and do it right again. Isn't it good? Now, three times in a row, what's special about this team and this group of guys? Their camaraderie, the work ethic that they have, and the calmness they approach the game. They, they don't panic, and they just keep coming at you with good stuff until finally they wear you down. And that's, that's been their portfolio all year. You had a lot of confidence before the game. You and I talked. I asked you about some of the guys on this team, and you know, you told me without hesitation, Justin Dowdy, he was your man on the mound. Right. Your leadoff guys, you know, who've been doing the job all year, they weren't, they didn't come up big. It was some of the other guys. Talk about some of the other guys well, that contributed. The bottom of our lineup's been doing very well in the playoffs, and uh, I think people have focused on trying to get our top out. But our tops, they're great hitters. They've done their they stuff are. too. But uh, the bottom of the lineup, I mean, John Peabody today had a great game. That was a clutch hit. And uh, Casey Gallagher came on real big with the extra base hit. And, you know, the bunt by David Moorhead, or, that was uh, Peabody and Moorhead are two of our sophomore kids. So it was great to see them come, on, come through. And Dorian Dixon, you know, he's been aggressive, been good. And it's great to see it. he's a senior, too. And it's great to see him his final game really, uh, really contribute. Well, winning does not get old, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, see, we'll hopefully see you back here for a few more of these, right? Well, well that's, that'll be our goal each year. That's, let's try to develop a team that can get here. And uh, this, this year's team proved they could. We've got a great program. Congratulations again, Sam. And good luck to you. Hopefully we'll see you out here next All year. All right, Jeff. It's great to see you again. Take All care. Bye-bye. Right. So wrapping up here tonight from Tony Gwynn Stadium at San Diego State University, the final score in the CIF Division I Championship Final, the Rancho Bernardo Broncos defeat the Poway High Titans 6-2. Justin Dowdy going the whole way for Rancho Bernardo. He finishes 13-0 on the year. Sam Blaylock and his Broncos win their third consecutive CIF Division I Championship. I'm Jeff Scott. You watch a George Langevin video production. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next year.